Right, so let's carry on with uh, question number three. Question number three is a uh, two span beam with uh, right supports, and that's L. That's L. And in the question, actually, the uh, reaction forces at three supports are given, so uh, you don't need to carry out step number one, actually. So this is given as uh, 3W over uh, 8. This is 10W over 8. And that's 3W over 8. Okay, and then there is a uniformly um, distributed law on the top which is W kilonewton for a meter length and you ask to find out the bending moment and shear force at the center of the left span and the center of the right span and I'm just going to demonstrate how to calculate uh, this point, the bending moment and shear force at, uh, let's say this is my point A right, so um, you don't need to carry off uh, the first step because uh, all the reactions are, are given so just uh, chop this thing here and then you take of course you take the left part and yeah and if you want to take the right part it's it's still okay but uh, uh, that will take uh, a lot more uh, calculation to do so let's uh, take the left part so I draw it here and that's my um, support there that's uh, 3WL over it. and don't forget your UDL and that's my uh, cutting point A and then you assume your uh, positive uh, moment here the positive bending moment here uh, which is assumed to be sacking according to our sign convention so that's lead to M and the shear force there left up right down so this is coming down and this is F and then, as usual, you, you uh, set up your vertical equilibrium equation. This is your lead to W. And that length here is L over 2. Okay. So, W times L over 2. That's coming down. And uh, plus 3WL over 8. That's going up. And then minus F. That's equals to 0. So, what's your F? Your F is simply... Um, 3 WL over 8 minus WL over 2 so that will give you what this is a minus WL over 8 okay that will give you the shear force right and then you calculate the uh, moment there by considering rotation about uh, uh, this point let's say rotation about point A so, um, M, that's uh, anti-clockwise, and then you calculate the moment due to this uh, UDL. The total load is W times L over 2, and then you multiply by the distance of this total load which is acting at the center. Okay, and that's uh, L over 4. So times L over 4, that will give you an anti-clockwise moment, and then minus the clockwise moment due to this uh, reaction, uh, pre W L over 8 times the distance, the distance is L over 2, so that becomes 0, and then what's your M? Your M is simply um, 3WL square over 16 minus WL square over 8 so that will give you WL square over 16 and it's positive so that means the bending moment at this particular point is uh, according to a sign convention second so that's done and you can uh, 
carry out exactly the same procedure to find out the band of moment here by cutting it through that point and then you take the right part to draw your free body diagram.